Hi, uh, so welcome back to my channel. I have got lots and lots to show you today. There is a uh, stock I have bought from three car boot sales, so there is quite a lot. So uh, I'll try and be quick, but try and stick with me. Um, I'm just going to start from the top. Um, so let's go with these. So vintage children's roller skates. So these are sort of 80s looking more 70s they were uh, I paid six pounds for the two pairs um, and they just don't look like they've ever been worn at all like if you have a look I don't know if that's gonna focus on it but yeah unworn I would say um, I have sold them already on Instagram I shared everything yesterday when I got back so these have both sold for 15 pounds each straight away so that's nice um, there's quite a lot of 80s stuff. This is a sort of 80s sports oval thing. It was colourful. I quite liked it. It was a pound. I have no idea what they go for, but for a pound, it seemed alright. We've got a vintage ski suit. Let's see if that's going to show. So it's a uh, head one. I paid, what did I pay? I paid five pounds for that. Again, it looks pretty unworn to be honest. So, hopefully that'll do all right. Obviously it's not really ski season. Ski, uh, ski season. <laughs> but never mind. Uh, there is a pair of vintage velvet orange curtains. I paid eight pounds for these. Uh, they're really big, um, over two meters wide and two meters long. Um, so we'll see. There's a couple of people who've asked about them on Instagram, so we'll see if they sell on there. Otherwise, I'm tempted to go and get them dry cleaned and then put them onto eBay to see if that will help because they're a bit, they definitely need a bit of a wash. But they're a nice color. Underneath is a great big king size quilt um i can't remember if i paid eight pounds or six pounds for this it's really nice i've washed it already it's all ready to go so we'll see i'm hoping sort of over 50 quid will be nice uh i've got a bundle of little comforters so this is a baby's first christmas just card factory one it's 50p uh this is a disney dumbo where was that from i can't remember where that one was from it did oh dunelm it's just a dunelm one again it was only 50p i only paid 50p for them that's h m one which is quite nice there's a i guess how much i love you one again 50p and if I got this one. This might be from another time. I can't remember, but it's just a George one. And then there's a pair of vintage cushion covers, which were 50p for the pair. Uh, they have been in a wash already, so they are ready to list. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, okay. A few more silicon moulds to add to the collection that I bought with something else but I'm never gonna remember what it was um, they were 50p for the pair <coughs> oh gosh sorry um, there's a vintage um, bird cage like wicker cane kind of bird cage that was two pounds again that one has already sold on Instagram for 12 so that's nice. Uh, another two that have sold straight away on Instagram. Sorry, I just had to go get some water. Um, right, so I think I was on these. So yeah, 50p, 20p, that one sold for five, that one sold for four on Instagram. So that's really nice when things go straight away. 
there's quite a few lamps today. This is a sort of a dark onyx marble. Um, it was 50p. So hopefully I can get sort of 50, 60 on that one, on my Etsy shop. That would be good. We've got a sort of 80s twisty, nice sort of mint green one. That was £2.50. Again, it would be a good one for Etsy. I mean, all the lamps go on Etsy unless they're not old enough. Um, we've got just one of the normal Onyx ones. That was a pound. They normally sell really well. Okay. I'm going to put everything back. One of these sort of brown, drippy glaze ones. That was two pounds. So there's a pair of these slate uh, bookends. I paid three pounds for the two. I think they should go for about 25. Hopefully they're so heavy. So this was the find of the day. This is a 1980s uh, sort of hand globe lamp. It's got the original Argos sticker, made in England, and it cost me a whopping four pounds, and it's worth around 200, nearly 200. So, yeah, that was really nice. I couldn't believe that was still there when I got there. So we're in the same cellar got this one, it's a 1980s one. Again this should have a globe like that one on the top. That'll fit on top. So it should look a bit like that. I just need to order one for the placement for that one. Again it was four pounds. I'm not sure on the price on that one but I'm gonna guess hopefully around a hundred would be lovely. Vintage uh, saucepans. They're in pretty good condition. Some light staining inside. Nothing major. They are uh, Judge. You won't be able to see that. But there's three of those. And yeah, I paid six pounds. So hopefully about 30 or so on those. Um, this one is a baby cook. Um, thing. It's like a cooking blender thing. Uh, it cost me four pounds. It's worth about 25 to 30 I think on that one. I have got another one that hasn't sold yet so I might lower the price on that one and then hopefully they will actually sell. So we've got a Spears uh, weaving loom. still has the pattern sheet inside which is nice and it has never been used in really good condition it cost me six pounds but on ebay should be about 30 or so they normally sell quite quickly those ones uh, what else have we got there's a couple of lamp shades we've got this one a bit more of a modern with the wider hole but it is nice how much was it two pounds i think that one was and then these were two pounds each these are marks and spencers leopard print brand new um but they have the smaller hole so i don't know and they say made in england or made in the uk but they have got the website on so I'm not entirely sure on the age of those, whether they're more like early 2000s-y. 
I'm not really sure. Uh, there's one of these, huge wicker mirror. That was four pounds. Um, so hopefully that'll do all right. I might put it on Facebook, see if anyone can collect it. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? All right, and then we've got a few boxes of things down here. I'll try and share. Um, a few more 80s for you. These are vintage B&Q um, crystal tiles, it says. Um, Linda Green. And they're sort of speckled. They were a pound. I don't really know what tiles would go for, but I thought they were very nice. And these were quite exciting. This lady had a huge box full of tea towels and now I'm slightly wishing I just bought them all to be honest. Um, she was asking a pound each and I fished out 16 and she charged me £10. So they were less than a pound each, so that's really good. Um, I'll try and show you them. There's a berries guide to berries. This one has sold on Instagram for £6. So that one is waiting to go. We've got a Christmas pudding, an Ulster one. They all look to be like they're brand new or, or not brand new but like they've never been used which is really nice. Like some of these collection. This is a National Trust um, Pat Orbeck. And this one I've seen go for about 20 or so on eBay. So that's really nice. There's a few of the National Trust ones. So there's another one, which is really lovely. And that one is sold on Instagram again for 15. So that's going to be posted tomorrow. There's a National Trust calendar one. This is 1991. The National Trust ones seem to go for a decent price, sort of you know, ten pounds up, which is really good. This is says it's Sheriff Textiles. There's a wine one. I don't know if I'm doing this with the right arms. There we go. <laughs> oh, which way is that fold? I'm get that crumpled up. Oh, there's so there's two of these, which were in a bag together, like they'd never been used at all. Um, so I have taken them out. They say, oh no, they are, they're pastimes, 1994, Bod Bodleian, is it Bodleian or Bodleian? Library in Oxford. There's this one. different kinds of puddings. Uh, I think this is the other one that has sold on Instagram again. So that one was six pounds, which is really nice, really sort of 70s. This one I liked the colours, I didn't realise that it was like a dieting one, I'm not so keen anymore, but it's fun colours, it's got a nice sort of, again, a bit of a 70s sort of feel to it. Oh, this one's just a sort of Portugal souvenir one, they're not really worth very much those ones. <coughs> oh, sorry. And then I picked out quite a few of these that are sort of herb ones, which is quite nice. There's another National Trust calendar one, that's 1998, a bit later. There's another one, 
another herb one. Quite cute. This one I like the colours, but it's the the Derbyshire Federation of Women's Institute. So I'm not sure how many people will really want that, but it's a lovely design. So hopefully, I think it would look very nice in a frame. It's a nice strawberries one. And then this is the last one. <laughs> I think this is another National Trust one. Where am I? Yeah. That's the herbs one, which is really lovely. They're so nice, the National Trust ones. I really should have had a better look. Never mind. Uh, right, cut those. Cut those. And we'll start the next box. We've got one of these float vests. I paid £2.50. It is a Zogs one though, so hopefully that's better. I'll probably put it on Vinted. The last one sold on Vinted quite quickly. This is a Crown Devon platter. Um, has a lovely design. It does have a chip, which I didn't notice. Just there. But it was only 50p. So. Um, another 50p for the little cute little apron. Um, this plant pot. I can't. It says. I think it says Surrey ceramics. But it's got a nice sort of 50s look to it. A, just a little studio pottery type, amateur pottery maybe, a little dish. That was a pound, that one. And then I got this from the same stall. This is a, like a cheese dome with a wooden board. It's a bit scratched, but it's marked inside. Let's see if I can work out who that was. Um, I think it was three pounds for that one, but it is beautiful. It's a cute, colourful little glass dish, dish, vase. Um, that was a pound, and the same people that I got the my eighties tiles from. I have no idea. I'm not good at glass, but I liked it. Oh, there's the other comforter. So that's the other one that's um, George as well. But that's got a little shaker on it as well. So that was 50p. It's a lot of 50p's. This was 50p too. This is a 1988 Beatrix Potter cassette carrier. It doesn't have the cassettes in. But it is very nice. Oh, it still has a little label. <laughs> it's obviously never had the cassettes in. Only worth about maybe four or five pounds. So there's two of these, which I think I paid like one pound fifty. I remember saying, oh, can it be less because it's got the little nibbled bit on the end. Little sort of bamboo handled mugs. I have no idea. <laughs> and then a bit more bamboo for this little box. I think that was two pounds, this one. So I don't know what it would be worth, but... Hmm. Oh, it is a little bit, oh, it's a little bit damaged actually. Now I'm looking at it, it's got a crack there, and a crack there. Hmm. Hopefully 
basically because they're at the back it won't be such a problem can't see anymore at the front I think Etsy I think it'd be right on Etsy <clears throat> I need to just get the next box. Hold on. Uh, right. All right, last box. We've got a brass crocodile. He was two pounds. They normally sell quite well on Etsy. I can't remember how much for. Not a massive amount. This is an enamel plate. It was a pound. I don't know if it's old or not. No me, it's probably from H&M or something. But it does have some scuffs at the bottom. You know, to suggest it has lived. But it's very nice. Um, this little vase was 50p. It is definitely a sort of a handmade job. Um, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of <laughs> extra glaze at the bottom. But I will add it to my pottery box of pottery, which I can sell in bundles on Etsy. I found two Disney mugs, not something that I've looked at before, but my sister sent me a photo of someone who had sold some for a good price and I thought, oh, well, I'll have a look and see what I can find, and I found two. Um, this is a Tigger watercolour. I have found some on eBay, but not sold. They seem to be listing them for around 30 so that would be great. I paid £1.50 for that one. I paid 50p for the grumpy one. So that's a Dis Walt Disney World, it says. Um, and they seem to sell for about for 15, 17. So if they do all right, then I'll definitely look for more. Um, the cloverleaf placemats were a pound. Uh, there's a little bit of wear to them. You can see on the edge of that one, but I'll give them a bit of a wipe. But they're quite nice designs. Um, so they're called Yesteryear. I've got a Spears flower press. That was a pound. It looks pretty good. Sometimes they've got flowers in as well. It is full of, I don't know, grass or something. Hmm. <coughs> These, I'm not sure. I saw... Who did I see? Hmm, maybe it was Pound Bell Reseller. I can't remember. And it was somebody who'd bought some of these. But these are like mini ones. And I don't know if there is one missing. I haven't worked out what they're for. They cost me £5. I don't know if it was worth it or not. But never mind. This is probably not worth anything, but I liked it. Decorative alphabets throughout the ages. It is. Oh, X Library. It's got a little library thing in it. From St Andrew's School. It is from 1988. It is vintage. It's got some lovely pictures in it. So, yeah, I don't know. How much was it? Probably 50p. So the Sears Flower Play Box was a pound. And let's put an extra bit of polystyrene in it. It is full of flowers. Yeah. And I think you can sort of make your own and take them apart and create your own flowers. I don't think it's worth a massive amount. Maybe a tenner or something. It's quite cute. Another one that I thought this would be worth a bit more. It is Keyword by Monopoly. 
Um, it's got. Um, it cost me two pounds, but again, it's only worth about ten pounds or so. So that's a shame. And then I think these are the last bits. So there's some like there's six of these. <clears throat> they each have slightly different designs. They don't have any makes, but I have had them before. I can't remember. Oh no. This one's got a crack. This one's got a crack, so maybe not that one. I think the rest are okay. There was one I left there because it had a big chip in it. But they were £1.50 and they should do all right on it. Yeah, so that's it. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I definitely got a lot more than last time, which is nice. Um, yeah, now I just need to find some space for it. I'm picking up some boxes, plastic boxes tomorrow, so I can store stock away, stack them all in the corner, and try and be a bit tidier. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.